Hello and welcome to another one of our videos. This is our 2018 BMW 435 X Drive Grand Coupe M Sport with the seven, uh, sorry, eight speed ZF gearbox. This car is finished in the Snapper Rocks blue, a metallic color. This car has a beautiful spec on it. One of the favorite options on this car is these BMW adaptive LED icon lights that BMW do. They're a different headlight to the adaptive lights on the Xenons uh, that you see on the cars. The whole car has been detailed and machine polished to a very high standard. There are very few little stone chips on this car. I'm just gonna come in and show you these headlights. These are a 1200 pound option. And what you'll notice is that the lenses are different. They've got this like pinstripe that run through. And what these lights will do, they will um, adjust with the steering angle sensor on the steering wheel. So when you turn left or right, it will turn the headlamps to light up more of the road for you. Additionally, you get high beam assist, which is um, actuated by the camera on the top. And what high beam assist does, you can put your main beam headlights on. This camera here will pick up lights coming from cars in the other direction, or if you drive into a lit up village, it will automatically dip your main beam. And uh, once you've gone past the lit up area or past the car that was oncoming, it will then raise the high beam for you. So the idea is to um, light the road up as much as it can uh, safely for you without blinding other people. So we've also got the 704M 19 inch alloy wheels with the M Sport brakes. The brake calipers are larger. They're powder coated in blue as well, with a bigger pad. So you get stronger braking. I'm just gonna come round the car. I'm gonna struggle to get some pictures of the car today. We've had a very busy day of cars going out. So I'm gonna try and get as much of the outside of the car in the video as well as the inside. If I come in nice and close, coming down low here, we've got front and rear parking sensors and you can see that the bodywork is in exceptionally clean condition. All of the tailpipes have been polished. There's no scratches. If I come up onto the top, I'm just gonna lift the uh, boot lid up tailgate up if we just have a look along the top here I'll move nice and slowly so you can get a good look all nice and clean come down on this side as well all of the light lenses have also been machine polished if we come up around the top here you can just see how clean we present the cars, all of the rubbers. We come into the boot, we've got the extended storage as well. We've got a 12 volt socket in the back. We've got the cargo net. And then if we have a look underneath, it's all lovely and clean under here as well. Just move out the light for you. We've got both of the parcel shelves and they're all in lovely condition, no tears or rips. And the back of the seats obviously drop down 60 40 split now this car has comfort access as well so we can not only put the boot down with this button but we can also lock the car we can also wave our foot from left to right you don't have to hit the exhaust with your foot like i did and it will automatically close the 435s are all x drive so they're four wheel drive it's not a permanent four-wheel drive, so you get the good economy because you don't want the drag of the four-wheel drive when you're just cruising along. And then under load, when you're powering away or you're on a slippery surface, it engages four-wheel drive. We've got the sun protection glass at the back. To show you along the boot lid here. All lovely and clean. We'll come up onto the roof. So there's no bird dropping stains or tree sap stains on the roof or scratches. 
the roof is really clean and there aren't any chips from what I can see on the top of the roof either. And while we're here, the screen, all screens get the odd little tiny mark, but nothing nasty on the screen either. Wing mirrors, lovely and clear as well. No scratches. If I just open and close that door, hopefully you'll see the little LED lights under there. We've also got lights down underneath. We'll come back to that in just a second. I'm gonna take you around, just show you this rear wheel as well. No damage on the wheel. All the center badge is in lovely condition. The car's due to go in for a service next week with our BMW specialist. Just show you all around this filler cap. What I am noticing on the camera is that the car looks bluer with the camera than it does to the natural eye. So if you wanna find out exactly what Snapper Rocks looks like, if you Google Snapper Rocks blue BMW, you're seeing that it's, a, it's got like a turquoisey greeny hint to it. It's a really nice color. But that's the best thing to do. You'll, you'll find the color online. We've got three similar blues in here and they all vary very slightly. Just show you the front bumper on this side, all the fog lights and down low along the front, no damage down there either. We've put in some genuine BMW M Performance black gloss grills. We've opted for the genuine ones because we prefer the single slatted ones. And we've noticed that there's a slight difference in the black to the ones that you can buy cheaper online. And we find that these, they just look a bit nicer. The ones online have a, a much blacker, it sounds daft, but they just look blacker for some reason. And you can tell the difference. So they are genuine. The bonnet, all along the top. This is another area where you sometimes see chips. It's actually very good. A couple of very tiny little stone chips you see there. So I move the camera around, been touched in very neatly. But overall, the car is exceptionally clean. It's running on, I believe they're bridge stones on this one. Let me just take you around the car. Yeah, you definitely need to um, Google Snapper Rocks Blue because the hue of the colour is, is different to what the camera's picking up on. So I'll just come back out. So we have the icon lights, we have head up display, Harman Kardon, M, M Sport braking. We have additionally, we've got the adaptive M Sport suspension on this car. Comfort access, which we've mentioned. So by placing your finger on the top, you can lock the car. Hand in, you can open the car with the key in your pocket. Online, you can buy uh, little pouches to put your keys in at home to protect your car from being stolen. Stops people amplifying the signal from the key. Speak to me more, if, uh, if you give me a call, I'll speak to you more about that. You'll notice all lovely and clean down here. All of the shuts are lovely and clean. All of the rubbers around the door. We've got the electric seats at the front, memory on the driver's side. We've got the little rocker button there, which blows up the bolsters, this side and that side. We've got the contrasting stitching and the piping on the Black Dakota seats, the Harman Kardon sound system with 16 speakers, additional speakers, some of them up at the top there at the front, in the rear doors and then in the back. That stitching continues into the door cards across there. We've got the brushed aluminium trim with the black gloss finisher. I'm gonna come around to the driver's side in just a second. We've got wireless charging in this car as well. Let's just open up the back door. So 
So we've got the Harman Kardon speakers there, door card, all nice on there. We've got driving assistant on this car as well, which I'll show you in just a second. All the leather, really nice in there. And if you allow it just to get a different grip. No damage there. It's just creasing on the seats where it's, we had to uh, take the seat bench out the other day and put it back in, that'll just push down. We like to clean the cars really thoroughly in case anything's gone down the, down the back of the seat. Again, round the filler cap. But I really love, so when the cars are machine polished, they're rotary polished to take out any fine scratches that people get on their cars, you know, when they wash them with a sponge. And then we have an orbiting mop, which as it spins, it sort of oscillates and moves around. And we use that with the final stage, which gives a really lustry, glossy shine to the paintwork. And all the door card on this side, right the way down to the bottom, the door is really clean as well. If we look in here, you'll see all the door shuts, beautifully clean. No scratches on the side either, from seat belts being jammed in the door. All of the rubbers around the apex of the door, all nice and clean. No scuffs on the back of the seat that I can see. And all the leather as well. We've got centre armrest that drops down as well. So we'll come to the front. Just gonna flip the lights off onto, or onto auto. So on the driver door card, again, I'm just having a good scan around. Can't see any damage on there. No damage down the outside edge. Again, this is where seat belts getting jammed in the door because sometimes puncture the edge. That's all good. If we look at the shut. All the badges, nothing's been jet blasted off or anything. No scratches along there. And again, the Harman Kardon speakers. Just take you up around the rubbers. No wear on the rubbers. And if we look at the seats on this side, all in nice condition. We've got a lot of light reflecting off of these seats. They actually look darker off camera. We've got the memory seat on this side. This is where we have part of the driving assistant so we've got lane collision, uh, sorry, lane assist on the right there. So if you cross over the white line, the steering wheel will vibrate. And the one on the left is the collision or uh, collision alert, which you can uh, set at different uh, distances from the car in front. If we jump in, I'm just gonna start the car. As you can see, the cars do a service. The one that's showing on there is a brake fluid service. So that's gonna, all gonna be done next week. Now we have digital cockpit on here. So with the digital cockpit, we've also got the speed info display, which is that uh, round circle that you can see in the rev counter there. That would show the speed of the road that you're driving on. Now, when we use the rocker button down here, Eco Sport. We're in comfort at the moment. So with the adaptive suspension, this would have a, a, a supple, softer ride. If we go into Eco Pro, it would maintain that softer ride and also make the um, ECU change setting so that it gives you better fuel economy, a little bit less responsive on the throttle to give you the better economy. And that's the idea of that. And it will tell you how many more miles you've got driving in that mode down there in the blue. The charge and power up there, that's when you come off of the throttle and you're coasting, it will charge the battery heavier so that when you use the accelerator, it will disengage the alternator so you're getting full power from the engine. So essentially what it's doing is, it's using the wasted energy as you slow down to charge the battery. So a clever system there for a 
for making the car more economical and, and using all that wasted energy to do something positive. Comfort. So in the comfort mode, we can um, see the dials change back to black. If we go into sport, now this is where the shock absorbers will, the, the valve on the shock absorbers will, uh, I think they basically put a little bit more fluid in there to stiffen the ride. And it's, it's quite a, you know, a system that's been out a long time, but it's not something you have on many of the cars. And there is a difference between the ride on the Comfort and the Sport. So if you, like, if you want something a bit softer, you don't like the harder M Sport suspension, the Comfort mode is gonna be perfect. As soon as you go into Sport, you get that agility back and that driver feedback um, with the suspension in Sport. You'll see that you've got the Speedo on the left and the gears, if we go into, um, if we go into Sport even and use the paddles, you can see that it'll go into manual mode. So you get a bigger display for that. We're gonna put that back into park for a second. If we go Sport Plus, this is where it disengages part of the traction control. So we've taken off the dynamic traction control. It's left the dynamic stability control on. That can be also turned off. If you press and hold the traction button here, you'll see down in the bottom there, DSC off. So now the two driver aids have been turned off completely and you're relying on the four wheel drive system for your traction. So we'll come out of there. I'll just point out that up on the display here, when you go into these displays and you can configure things in here, it shows that it does change the suspension. So if you if you change things on here, it lights up on the car picture, different things. It won't actually physically change anything on the suspension unless it's got the adaptive suspension. So a little bit misleading. Uh, everyone sometimes thinks that they've got it on their car, but we spec check all our cars and it's definitely on the adaptive suspension. So we've got the Pro Nav with the um, touchscreen. We can move all this about as well. I'm gonna use the iDrive wheel down here, just to take you through some of the items on here. So if we go into navigation, we've got address input. We can then use the iDrive wheel that I've just shown you, our finger on the top okay. to write in destination. Oh. This can be used on the media as well. So if you're in media and you've got the um, Bluetooth audio one, you can use the same thing. The music collection, this is your 80 gig hard drive. This car has the remainder of the online entertainment, which I believe is a, about a, just over three years subscription. It might be a bit longer because it's on this car. We've got the dab on there as well. Uh, if we come out of there, if we go into maps, all your sub menus are down on the left here destination nice and easy to get to um, and there's all these other sub menus if we go into views I always try and show this one we can change the views and using the buttons down here we can save not just um, dab stations but we can also save telephone numbers and some of the windows that uh, are displayed on the uh, iDrive and we can save num that as number eight so rather than go in there to find them you can do press number seven and it will change the display so a nice little shortcut there we've got heated seats dual climate control now I spoke to BMW uh, connective drive the other day uh, this car isn't fitted with uh, Apple CarPlay but I've been told that if it has the telephone um, enhanced telephone which just has the, the wireless one so this has got the wireless Bluetooth charging I believe it can have Apple CarPlay uh, added to the car uh, we, I'd like to double check that before anyone does it but that's my understanding of it so if you wanted that you can have that with BMW we've got our 8 speed ZF gearbox with sport mode on the left so that's sport mode for the gearbox um, just popping back up here, I said it was due a service, but 
I'll show you. Is there anything? So connective drive, we've got the remainder of the connective drive sub subscription. So we've got weather apps in here, Wikipedia, um, Flickr, and a few other bits and pieces. If we come out of there, like I say, if we go into vehicle status, so the previous history, the PDI service done from new, the next service is always oil and microfilter, and the service after that is the brake fluid change, which the first one's done on the third year. So this car uh, is due on the 11th, 2020. It's not a, an issue that it's a couple of months, a few months later. It's literally a fluid change on there. Um, there's nothing that's, that, that any wear and tear will show anything. This one here is for the MOT. So the brake fluid will be done. The front brake pads have 11,000 miles. The engine oil is um, is due to be changed in December or in 12,000 miles, but I'm going to opt to have that done along with the brake fluid. So that will reset back to about 19,000 miles. So that will bring the car, um, you know, seven months isn't very far away for someone buying the car. So we're going to get that done as well. That's just a vehicle check. And then the rear pad's 38,000 miles. So when this car goes out, it'll be new MOT and the brake fluid done and the oil service will be done as well. Uh, there are lots of sub menus in here also for um, things like, let's see if we've got lighting on here. So I'm just gonna whip the lights on the car. If we go to interior lighting, I'm gonna flip this into classic because in classic mode you can generally tell all of what's on the car. So yeah, so the driver comfort pack that, that this car has gives you this lighting around the center console here. Now it was in white a minute ago and you can see it. It's also got this LED strip under the door cards. So at night, this looks quite impressive. Um, and you can change this from amber to white doesn't look so good in the day because you can't get the contrast and the glare. So we'll just have another look around the interior. All of the seats. Armrest is front sliding as well. This is where you can adjust the uh, light or put the lights into adaptive mode. So if we put them back to auto, and you'll see that that lights up down there. So that's um, turned on the adaptive lighting. We've got the paddle shift, speed limiter, and cruise control on this side. And then the modes on this side for, if I can show you, let's try and get this in focus, let's see where it is, the heads up display. So let me, I might have to just turn the brightness up. So if we come over here, let me zoom back out, excuse me, while I refocus this. If we go to displays, heads up display, turn it on or off. Uh, if we come down here to brightness, we can turn the brightness up. We can adjust the height and the rotation so we can make it square on. Now, let's, oh, fingers. So if you look at the red car in front, you see the black grill. Let me just turn it to that. Turn the music down. And then you can see that I'm flicking through the dab channels there. And just to the left of the grill, there's a round circle. That would be the speed limit information. But this is where you can flick through. And we can flick through FM, AM, online entertainment and music collection and also use our telephone and pre-dialed numbers will come up in there as well. well while we're here i'll just put the so we've got front and rear parking sensor display on there as well before we go to the engine bay we've got folding electric mirrors as well this can be done with the key fob as well by pressing and holding the lock button to, to close the mirrors. We've also got auto dipping 
depending what side you've left this switch on, when you go into reverse, the mirrors will auto dip. I haven't popped the bonnet, so let's do that. So it's put two pulls for the bonnet, and then we, we don't have a release catch underneath, so we can just lift the bonnet, nice and easy. All of the engine bay has been cleaned by hand. All of the leaves that get trapped in here have been hoovered out. We haven't jet washed them in there because it creates like a sludge and you don't want that because it will block all the waterways. So all these covers have been taken off, hoovered out, make sure it's nice and clean in there. And then we've used WD-40, a nice safe product to clean all around the engine bay. And you'll notice all up under here, it's just as shiny underneath as it is above. And this is our twin turbo, which is a twin power turbo. It's like a dual inlet on the turbo for much better response. They run about 315 PS, which is about 313 PS uh, brake horsepower, about 630 newton meters of torque. The Celtic retune will bring this car up to 400 brake horsepower. I can't remember what the uh, torque is on that figure, but it's plenty. And believe it or not, these are actually 0.3 of a second quicker than the 440. Absolutely stunning car and love these headlights. Like I say, 1200 pound option. I think I've covered all the spec from the spec list. I'll make sure it's all in the advert or drop us a line. And remember to uh, check out Snapper Rocks Blue as a color. And you'll get uh, a much better idea from the internet of what the color looks like. For example, this is Snapper Rocks. That's Estral Blue in the corner. And then over here, we have Long Beach Blue. So, quite a variation in the colors. Thank you for watching the video. Please give us a call and uh, be happy to help. Take care, bye.